For a team that's undefeated, the Wildcats of Archbishop Murphy High, north of Seattle, use some rather glum words to describe their season. A mess. Uh, it's definitely a little, a little disappointing. They won their first three games by a combined score of 170 to zero. After that, five of their opponents decided to forfeit. Call it Friday night lights out. We don't want to be sitting at home or watching other teams play. We want to be on the field ourselves playing the game that we love. The team's not just really good, they're really big. I'm six foot three, how tall are you? Six eight. Abe Lucas is one of six players topping 250 pounds, which concerned opposing players and parents. We will not play Archbishop. That's like, you know, putting a VW bug up against a Mack truck. The forfeits are having a trickle down effect on the Wildcats cheer squad and pep band. It's kind of brought down like our spirits a little bit. So many schools have forfeited, the team hasn't played a game in a month and a half. But now, that's about to change. <laughs> Finally have a game again. <laughs> Across Puget Sound, the Olympic High Trojans are fine-tuning their slingshot for a battle with Goliath. It's exciting for me, knowing that I got to you know, complete a challenge like that. The team never considered forfeiting. You know, there's not only lessons in football, but lessons in life we could learn from this. So finally, Archbishop Murphy takes the field. Start on time, start on time. A victory for the band, the cheerleaders, and the team, which wins big. And with no injuries, it's a game best defined by the size of the players. Hearts. Good game. Good game. Good game. Joe Fryer, NBC News, Everett, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.